My name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Coast Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs, the more bought built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. This is from Condor at Wallaby Holland, what possibly people say is the worst coaster in Europe, possibly one of the worst coasters in the world, some people call it in the ghost community. Well we've got some news that might change all that. Now before we get started make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below, and also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So basically, what is happening is something that's been rumoured for quite some time. Uh, and that is that Condor is getting brand new trains for the 2021 season. Now, this was part of, um, like, um, a rumour mill. And it's been going around for a long time now, uh, and people have said it's going to happen at some point. Uh, it was just a case of when, and when they were going to announce it. And of course now it's officially been announced, they're going to be getting the new trains for Condor. Uh, so th there was an official tweet uh, from Wallaby Holland's Twitter account uh, that states the following. So Wallaby Holland have actually stated um, on their official Twitter, in 2021, hashtag Condor... What new Vacoma trains? This makes the flight in Condor better and more beautiful. Until then, you can fly under the current wings. So, there we go. So, that was the official tweet. Uh, now, officially, this ride opened in 1994, May 1994. It's an SLC, it's a 662 meter prototype model. Um, it was called El Condor from its opening in 1994 until 2013 and then of course it was known as Condor uh, with a length of 2,171.9 feet, a height of 101.7 feet and a speed of 49.7 miles per hour, a duration of just over 2 minutes and 5 inversions. So overall then, I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a fantastic project. I think that um the um coaster itself did need a bit of work um however some people in the coast community are happy but they're kind of not in the in the uh, on the other direction because of course this means that the um sort of midterm future of the ride is pretty much secured um because some people did want it to be removed in the next few years but I think with these brand new trains now, it looks like it's staying for at least another few years. Um, I don't know, maybe Wallaby Holland is just introducing these new trains in 2021 just to uh, sort of, you know, let people enjoy it for the next few years before it goes. So, um, you know, I'm going to take it as though this decade will be the last one for Condor, even though it's going to get new trains in 2021. I'm going to take this decade as if it's the last. So, I am going to get out there, get the credit, hopefully. Uh, in Holland uh, at some point this decade but overall I think the trains are gonna be an improvement by the way I liked how they tweeted under its current wings wink emoji I like how they sort of paid homage to the coast community's thoughts and feelings about the ride um, and sort of played along with the community there that was definitely a, a theme park commu um, fans community uh, tweet uh, <laughs> uh, but I tell you what you know I think the new trains are going to be a good fit for the ride. I think because people are calling it one of the worst rides in the world, one of the worst coasters in Europe, uh, one of the worst coasters in the world, I think putting new trains on it is a good move for me. Just for the fact that I think that uh, Condor does need the new trains. I have heard that the trains that they currently use are awful. Uh, so by 2021 we will get new trains. Uh, I'm not going to be able to experience the, the original El Condor, or Condor as it's now called, um, with the original trains. But I think when I get out there in Holland in the future and experience this ride with the new trains, I think my opinion will have changed from if I'd experienced it with the original trains. So uh, I think the new trains are a good fit. I think... It's, well, I don't know if they're going to use over-the-shoulder restraint or they're going to use like the suspended thrill coaster type trains they're doing for the brand new concept that's going in a trip stroll uh, this year. 
Um, so it could be, you know, like lap bars just to allow more freedom in the inversions. So again, or it could just be like a new model of the over the sh shoulder restraint trains. We don't exactly know for sure what type of new train we're going to get. Hopefully we'll be and share something on social media towards the end of this season uh, in the factory or somewhere where they're going to see the new trains. Um, so they can share a picture just so we know if it's going to be over the shoulder restraints or lap bars. Uh, so, like I said, very interesting topic to follow. Uh, can't wait to cover more on Mulder Holland in the future, especially this year in 2020. Uh, obviously, they've got their new Speed Zone uh, race car theme upgrades to the area, with the, the area where Goliath is and stuff like that, and the Junior Drop Tower in and stuff like that. So, it was a general upgrade year this year. Hopefully, 2021 is going to be an even bigger year. Uh, than this year, not exactly a new coaster like the Untamed year last year in 2019, but hopefully a bigger year than this year in 2021. Obviously, Condor's new trains to start, but are they going to introduce a new attraction in 2021? That's the thing we're going to worry about. So, uh, it should be interesting. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Wallaby Holland. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you share this channel around with your friends, family, and on social media. We are only 10 subscribers off of 1,350. Um, so we're getting closer and closer every day to that 1,500 mark. Thank you very much. My name is Coach Shell, Kit on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.